If you're looking to sharpen your action editing skills or curious about how a fight sequence comes together, you're in the right place. Today I'm breaking down how I edited an intense fight scene, showing you my step-by-step -step process from start to finish that made the action hit harder. And make sure you stick around until the end where I'll show you the full finished scene. Let's get started. Action! All right, so let's jump into Evan Mini Composer and take a look at some footage. I put uh, all of the fight footage into its obviously own scene bin. So this is what my scene bins look like for this fight sequence. All right, so how did I start cutting this scene? Since it was shot out of order, I started focusing on, on, on each setup and building that. So for example, in this case here at the top, you know, this whole sequence is just uh, Milan throwing Amber up against the wall. So I started there. I just build uh, that action. And from there, I moved on to the next setup. And so I'll keep building these small sections and putting them in the timeline in order until I have the full fight scene. Now, this first pass is just going to be a rough pass. It really is just to start building the sequence, right? To, to just simply ha have all the shots be in, in order. I'm not necessarily thinking about finessing things at the moment. So after building this first rough pass, this is where the fun really begins, right? This is where now I'm really focused on action, intensity, you know, drama, and, and, and using any tricks I can to, to make it all work. In order for the fight to be explosive, it's important to build up the tension and suspense up to that point. There's a moment where the three of them, Ben, Amber, and Milan, uh, are about to make this, this deal. There's a lot of tension, right? And then we're going to release that tension and, and, and we're going to go into this incredible uh, fight sequence. But in the meantime, we're going to hold back from, from releasing that tension as much as we can. And this is what was done here with just holding on moments, faces, creating that suspense, right? And when is it time to cut? Well, I really think it is a feeling. It's almost as if you put yourself in the scene as one of the characters where you're ask, you're telling yourself, oh, you know what? I want to see what Amber's doing or what how Milana's reacting. It's like you yourself want to see. So now that we're in the fight sequence, yes, it's about intensity, energy, but it's also about emotions and orientation. Where is everyone at in the space so that we, the audience, are not confused? But let's talk about some tricks that I use to enhance emotion and the intensity of the scene. If we go through the timeline, you'll see there's a lot of time warp effects, meaning that we we sped up a lot of the uh, the shots. So either we we sped up the, the entire shot or did uh, speed ramps. You can tell here, for example, if you look at the clip, you can just tell what we did. In this case, we ramped it up, you know, by like 5%, 100 to 150. In this case, it goes from 100 to 125 to 100. We want to get that burst of action, but then come back to normal speed so things don't look weird. I showed you this uh, little section here in the beginning of this video. So I'll just go slow here. We'll see Milan punching her. It's just punching in on the, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, punching in on the actual shot. So it's it's the same shot, but I just put a, a, a you know, a 3D warp or a resize effect on it, you know, to feel that impact. As you can see, I even put a note here, scale up and reposition to see punch and head in center. So it's the same shot. Just punched in. Then the next one is her being dragged. You can see, of course, all the, the, the cables that was then later removed in, in, in VFX. And so this is a quick shot here, it just gets thrown. And then we cut to the wider shot and then quickly cut to her hitting that wall. So that little section there looks like this. Something that's done a lot in, in, in uh, action fight sequences is say removing frames from from shots here's one case where we did do it and uh this was great if we go to uh match back to this shot okay three two one go so when we were cutting it together cutting this section together there wasn't enough force on that hit and so that's where we took out a frame as you can see here now if we kind of just go frame by frame you'll see the jump there it is there it is, but it's so fast. I mean, like you're, you're not gonna see it. Very likely. <laughs> so now if we play it, and then what really helps is is the sound effect, right? That's what uh, really sells it. In the end, though, the, the 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 footage is gonna guide you, right? It's gonna you're gonna know what to do. It's gonna tell you what to do by by watching 
every single frame. Really, this uh, you know scene came to life was by adding uh, sound effects. We had other post departments say um, sound, uh, music, color, and VFX. So I still had to do some of the temp work here. Let's first take a listen without any sound effects. Now let's turn the sound effects on. I do tend to shut off production sound. Say when I'm really focused on, on sound design, I'll, I'll turn off all the dialogue. Uh, of course, in this case, all the grunts, the screaming and whatnot, and to just really focus on placing those the, 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 those sounds, right? Also, you know, for example, it's like getting creative with, uh, with the types of sounds you use. You know, it's like, don't be so literal about sound effects. In this case, where he throws, you know, boiling water on his face, uh, I used frying meat, frying meat. Let's take a listen. And of course, then you add the, the splashing water, right? But you know, this just adds that, that, that texture. Frying meat gave me that, just that skin sizzle, you know? Oh man, I forgot to turn the light back on. There we go. But also like, you know, say it's not just about say, uh, hits, right? Um, punches, kicks, body falls, uh, things like in this case where he, that shower curtain, he wraps it around, um, his head. You have that, that whip or that whoosh, right? Just to feel that shower curtain, you know, come around over his head. Same here. Use that uh, a whip here to increase that 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 speed as he's uh, he throws his head up against the wall. And now let's take a look at the final fight sequence. There's a lot. Yes. Half now, half after. Standard. And we've got everything you want on that USB. Why don't you just give us all the money now and everybody wins, yeah? 